he really is the street thug that Putin is always accused of being. He was a street thug. He did go to jail. He was one of these guys who came up in Russia as a businessman when businessmen were getting murdered left and right by gangsters. You almost had to be a gangster yourself. Apparently, he made some money in the supermarket chain business, and that led him to create a catering business, which brought him to Putin's attention, and he started catering for the Kremlin. And then from there, he was given the license to create this private military corporation, Wagner Group. He had a co-founder who was actually the military man behind it. But Wagner became this group of mercenaries who do all sorts of business in Africa mainly. And the crazy thing, though, is that what you saw on Twitter and social media was unrestrained glee over the idea that Prigozhin might topple Putin and become the custodian of Russia's thousands of nuclear weapons. My comment on this whole thing is, be careful what you wish for. Why of in course. the world would yeah. Americans want that? We'd be jumping out of the frying pan and into the fire. I've been saying since the beginning of the war that this fantasy that Putin's going to be toppled by a palace coup and you're going to replace him with Navalny or something like that. I said that was always unrealistic. And what you're much more likely to end up with is an even worse dictator or a hardliner. And I think that is what would happen if Prigozhin had taken over. I think it would have been much worse for the West. The final point is, what's the takeaway from here is I think this is going to put more pressure on Putin to conduct the war in a more violent way. People already think that the war is horrible and violent, but Putin has been criticized by hardliners on his right for basically making the war a special military operation instead of an all-out war. And Prigozhin, I think, expected to find more support among the sort of ultra-nationalists in Russia and among the military who have been critical of Putin for waging the war in what they consider to be too yeah. half-hearted or an incomplete way. They would like to see this declared to be a war. They would like to see the full mobilization of Russian society. And this is the problem that I see now. I think Putin already knew, but this has to underscore for him that this war is existential for him personally. If he loses, it's the end of not only his regime, but probably his life in Russia. And I think he's going to do whatever it takes to win this war. And I think that this could lead us to the next point of escalation in this war. That is, if this Ukrainian counteroffensive actually is successful on some level. Right now, it is not succeeding. So there's no reason for Putin to do that. But if this counteroffensive succeeds, you will see the next level of escalation.